Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint. And we're gonna get a little messy today. Have fun. Yes! We're painting oh, splatters inspired by the famous artist Jackson Pollock. So we are going to have so much fun learning about another famous artist. We've learned about several of them lately. Yeah, we have. So it's really fun. But the big thing is, like I said, this project is messy. So I want you to find an area, ask your grown up where you can paint. Maybe it's on a different table, or if you need to grab, maybe there, if you have a placemat or something like this, we have these, which are great, so you can put under, but you probably have this unless it got thrown away, but grab your box if you had this. This is our box that your subscription came in, and I'm gonna use tape, and I'm gonna tape my paper in that we're gonna be painting. So grab those supplies. Then, I'm gonna talk while I do this. The other thing is we're using our watercolors like we like to do here. And we're using the three primary colors, but we're gonna mix a whole bunch of colors because we like color here. Yeah, we do. And then remember to have your palette and your water. Water is gonna be important for this project. And then your paintbrush. But the other thing is that we're gonna be painting a lot of this surface. So I'm gonna be using this really wide brush. So if you have one of those or your big round one, grab that, cause that will be helpful. So the first step is taping it down. Now, this is the painting that we're gonna be inspired by. And I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can paint. So I'm gonna add a, sec a tape and make two sections in mine. So you can do this as well if you want. I just wanna show you two different ways you can paint this. So I'm gonna lay that down. Then I'm going to come over to my palette and we're gonna mix a rainbow of colors. If you have all the colors you already want to use, you can skip this step, but I wanna make the rainbow. So I'm gonna skip every other one because I have magenta or if you have a red, I wanna make orange, which is six drops yellow, three, four, five, six, one drop magenta. So that makes orange. We have yellow. Let's make green. I'm gonna make, maybe I'll make a light green here. So I'll do 10 drops of yellow, lots of yellow, and just one drop of blue because blue is really, really strong and powerful. Ooh, yes. And then the last color of the rainbow is purple. So purple for us is gonna be two drops magenta and one drop blue. So now that I have my color set up that I wanna use in our painting, sweet. And you'll notice every time I use a color, I'm gonna swish my brush in water because I wanna clean it off. So the first step is, is we're gonna do something that's similar to this. So this is really cool. But what we need to do first is I need to paint it with just water. So grab your big brush, dip your brush in water, and we're just gonna paint with water. Cool. Over the whole thing. Water so, only? Water only. Secret color in watercolor world. <laughs> so we're gonna do the wet on wet technique that we've done before. If you've done color explosions with us, this is kind of similar. So we're starting with wet, and then what we're gonna do is let's, actually, let's do both sections. So I'm gonna show you just water and then pick a color. I'm gonna pick a yellow. So picking a lighter color will actually be helpful because then your splatters will show up more. So I'd pick a lighter color, maybe this or orange. And I want it to be really wet. So I'm gonna use a lot of water when I'm painting this. And then we're gonna work kind of quickly. So we're gonna do splatters inspired by Pollock. And Pollock, what year was he born? He was born in 1912. Yes, he was. Whoa, he wasn't that old. No, he wasn't. To 1956. So what we're going to do is you're going to have your two brushes. I want you to pick a color. So I'm going to use my round brush for this one. So take your round big brush and pick a color and dip in it. Do you see I'm dipping and swirling in it? Yes. I want a lot on here. I'm gonna hold this in my left hand, actually it doesn't matter which hand, but 
but I want you to use either another brush or a pen or pencil. And I want you to, here's the trick. Oop, that had a little bit too much. I want you to point this down, not up, not to the side. I'm gonna point this down and I'm gonna tap. Do you see that? Whoa! Woohoo! So you can go fast, but remember, point down. So what I'm doing is I'm tapping the paint onto my painting. Look how fun! Neat! I wonder if that's how Jackson Pollock made his paintings. Well, he used acrylic in his. Did he? And his was actually called drip art, I believe. Yeah, I read that about him. And so that was him splattering liquid paint. But yeah, I wonder what his technique was. But we're using watercolor, so we're doing it like this. So pick another color. Fun fact. Yeah? His original first name was Paul. Paul Pollock? Paul... Jackson Pollock. Oh, so Jackson is his middle name? Middle name. Whoa, that was a big splatter because it had a lot of paint. Not fun. And you know what else I learned? Pollock, guess how much one of his painting was sold? Can I guess? Yes. Do I know? Is it his most expensive one? His most expensive one. His most expensive painting, which was this one. Let's show everyone so they can see. Okay. I'm going to cover the number. If you have this paper, you'll know. But this was his painting. It was called number five. Number five. I know that I know how much. Okay. I want you to guess at home if you don't know the answer. Okay. Now you can tell us. In 2006, Pollock's number five. Which was recently. Yep. 1948, which is when he painted it became the world's most expensive painting when it was sold for $140 million. <laughs> this, a splatter painting. Yeah. How cool is that? Super cool. <laughs> wow, that's such a good fun fact. So what I wanna show you is that, especially when we look at his art, again, he used a different type of paint. It was called acrylic, so his splattered. But what I want to teach you is that there's a lot of layers here. So what I want to do is I want you to, if you don't have anything that you can dry your painting with, I want you to take a snack break and then meet me back. But I'm going to use my handy dandy tool and I'm going to use this and then we'll do one more layer on top of it. Do you know why he numbered his painting? I forget. I did know. Tell us. Because he didn't want people to look for a subject. When he named it, people would look for it in the painting. Oh. And he said, no, I want you to appreciate the painting for what it is. Especially when it's splatter or yeah. abstract. How are you supposed to find a diamond-shaped cool. pickle with a <laughs> heart? <laughs> yes. That's my painting names. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to repeat those steps. Our painting is dry, because again, we're gonna layer. And I'm going to grab my two brushes and let's pick a color. I'm gonna dip it in. And then I'm gonna remember the steps, point down, and I'm gonna tap. Oh, so do you see how, oh, some of it's wet, so it's making that wet on wet, and some of it is dry over here. So it made these really, cool splatters that isn't blending in. You see that? Neat. So fun. Let's add more colors. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, look at that big one. So this is so much fun. And isn't it cool to learn about different artists and what they like to do? And we're inspired by them to make more art. Yes. Yeah. so this project, I mean, I want to make more. You can do this all the time. You can invite your friends and your family to paint along with you. And if you live in the United States, Pollock was born in Wyoming. Whoa, so he I didn't read that. Here. That's neat. Yeah, where the other artists we were learning about were born in different countries. I thought this was cool because he was born not too far from here. Wow. So thank you for painting with us. Make sure your painting dries and then 
make sure to help clean up. That's mm -hmm. what we like to do. Clean up your supplies, put your caps back on, and then we wanna see what you make. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. Please share with us. Tell us about your painting. Oh, and maybe if you wanna number yours. You should number it. Or if you actually see some things. It's also one of my favorite things to look at the sky or look at even, I guess, paintings like this and be like, yeah. what do you see? Yeah, you could and number it and then you could see what you see in it and then yeah. be like, or you could call it horsefly. <laughs> and use your imagination. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so thank you for painting with me. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative and an artist. And we'll see you next time.